Last time on Ahoy! My Mothmania has a great story behind it. And so the state decided they'd let all of us visit the Living Spirits Forest. As we entered, I had this sense of utter completeness. One of the spirits I resonated with the most in there was that of an Emperor Gum Moth. It was like we had a whole conversation with our spirits. My friend though, her name's Ella. Ella doesn't know what she wants to do in the future, and she's told me how it shows us around. I just wish she could feel the hope I felt back in the forest. Hey! That's it! Choose the payoff trace that matches hope. There! Hope! Ooh, the gem has changed color. Twyla! I'm so proud of you! I'll definitely come visit you again, girl. After much careful thought, I set aside a nice outfit and settle on how I'll do my makeup for the night. Hopefully this will fit in better with the Zayasins. And around four, Lau comes back and we head to the break room for some rest. And now continuing. Okay! That sounds like the right place to cut it off. Oh no. This is gorgeous! Oh my goodness! Wow! <laughs> Shit. Okay, I need to put that in my back pocket. I want to cut it off, but there's a, there's a post chat going on here that I feel like needs to be needs to be like done before the next episode but i also need to pee really badly how did it all go twilo who was your first customer <laughs> it went amazingly honestly exactly to the plan i improvised along the way jess was my first customer a girl around my age she's a funny one but really sweet <laughs> tell lao that jazz was into him don't tell lao that jazz was into him come on it's what she wanted Listen, I'm not gonna play the fucking better game of being like, oh no, he likes butterflies. It's like I should protect her. She's a grown woman. <laughs> she wanted to get into that. <laughs> she wanted to get him. <laughs> and so I think it can work out, okay? I think this is the start of something beautiful. So don't message me right now. <laughs> So I'm going to tell Lau that Jazz was into him. Here I go, Jazz. May the stars be with you. Oh, but I want him for myself. I'm sorry, Lau. Maybe it's not meant to be. It's a professional relationship that we got going on here. Nothing more. Um. No. Oh, you know, I'm sad. <laughs> actually, she was very interested in you, Lau. I should. I should. No, actually, she was very interested in you, Lau. She asked me to introduce you. Interested? Mm -hmm. Yep. You know what I mean. She likes you, Lau. She was really pretty, too. Hmm. Okay. Okay? Hmm? Are you going to ask her out? Huh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't afford to worry about that now. Besides. Besides? It's happened before. <laughs> Lau, how many hearts have you trampled over? Did I just let an enemy of women all around to know into my humble abode? Never mind that. What happened today? I'm assuming the enchantment worked then? It worked. I feel like I did a toilet thingy back. I need to lean back a little bit. There we go. I enchanted hope. Feeling hopeful for one's future, specifically. Interesting. So, <laughs> I'm thinking back to the just the time where I said, thank you, it was Arthur and laughed. It's because the way I delivered that, there was an ellipses, so what the fucking called three dots at the end of that, and the, I, I, I said it as if there was a full stop there, and it was just so, so like, end of sentence, nothing more, just, thank you, walks off, you know, <laughs> anyway, interesting. So yesterday wasn't an all an anomaly. The specifics were even conveyed this time around as well. Did you try to did you try the piece on? Okay. So Lau's voice, I definitely am doing something different. I don't know, but I am trying to because the way I was doing Lau's voice before made it very easy for me to fall into just mumbling. And I want to kind of avoid that. <laughs> so uh, anyway. Yep, I did. It was the hope she described. Described? Described. Right to the fine details. At least, I think so. Yeah. Perhaps your judgement was skewed by just having heard her version of it. The rain has died down though. 
Now cross... Now cross his arms pointedly. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't tell you that. Maybe I shouldn't have still. How come? Hmm. People are all too eager to convince themselves they'll never fall prey to their emotions again. Even if those same emotions had a stranglehold on them mere hours earlier. As soon as the illusion of complete control over your spirit enters a person's mind, they inevitably grow complacent, and usually very quickly, too. Instead of learning from our experiences, we become convinced we're incapable of falling victim to our past struggles ever again. But I don't think anyone's ever incapable of such a thing. Even grown men cry like newborn babes on occasion. Anyway, I digress. So, what did you learn? You first. What did you do today? What did I do? You want to hear me prattle on more then? That was some pretty smart prattling you were doing just then. Go ahead. Spreading the word of your enchanting services, for one. You should have a steady stream of customers for the next few days, I hope. Word should be spreading in Zayasa too. Hopefully you'll get a customer tonight. How exactly are you doing this? Jazz told me you were just talking loudly in the street. No, I must have been talking to a contact. Why would talking loudly in a busy street, busy street be an effective marketing strategy? Um, I don't know, man. But it's like a going back to the DMing and D&D. It feels like a feels like a feel like they did that in Critical Role once. So that's a way to spread rumors, you know. <laughs> eh, right. You're a funny guy, though. So are you, Twy. Oh, we've got nicknames. Twy? Who said you could call me Twy? So what did you learn today? Thought I I <laughs> I removed one cup of my earphones to headphones to 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 itch my ear, to scratch my ear, to to help my ear feel not eerie. And uh, I heard the voice that I was doing more clearly and it felt weird. Anyway, I learned that this process is made a lot smoother if you're just generally patient and friendly. Jazz opened up so much the more I asked about her interest in herself. And eventually we naturally got into talking about her friend and what emotion she wanted to enchant. Mm. Also, I really enjoyed getting to know her. I've always been a people person now. This jewelry stuff wasn't my plan, you know. Hmm. What do you mean by people person, exactly? I've always liked talking to people and learning about their lives. And I did study psychology in uni until... Hmm. Right. Interesting. So, this work is perfect for you then. Honestly? It really does feel like it is. I'm hoping things continue like this. Happy to hear that, Twy. <laughs> I hope I can help- I hope I can help things continue like this. Thanks. I look to him and feel my thoughts laid bare under his piercing gaze. Yet somehow, I can't begin to tell what he's thinking. Well, what I'm thinking is that we're gonna get somebody who is not as open as Jazz in the future. And there's gonna be some interesting shit going on there. Anyway, I so badly need to pee, Lau. <laughs> Worry pours at me instinctively. His words are so thoughtful. His eyes are so intense. But he's treating me like this just as a tracer, no? Eventually I have to move on to another case. Forces. What am I even thinking? I realize suddenly I've been staring at Lau for an inexplicably long time. Inexplicably long time. Quick! Think! Say something! What else did you get up to? You know, other than talking to your contacts. Crisis averted. Forces. I'm good. Did I... Did, yeah, no, yeah, all that, yep. <laughs> Let's see. I had to go all the way to Cypress Beach for an outburst. Ooh, Cypress! Wow. <laughs> I don't know where we are, but that's far away. <laughs> uh, what does this say? Outburst. A surge of payoffs can travel to, to a natural force nearby. Or on the other side of the country, apparently. Possessing its, possessing its spirit with the energy of an emotion that is strongly felt. There's this quicksand issue that's been going on for several days now. They weren't able to even find the source until this morning. Now to the rescue, was it? You found the source? I did, Twy. <laughs> He's still fucking saying it. <laughs> the source was this anxious old woman named Miss... Named Mrs... Dukji. 
living a few kilometers from the beach. She was falling further and further into debt, and the figures were pretty alarming. She said her children would soon come and help her. Seemed like she was trying to convince herself more than me, though. Also, this is a repeat victim case. It was closed months ago. The quicksand is new, of course. The old case involved running palm trees. But her financial situation isn't... But her financial situation hasn't improved. I suppose it was only a matter of time until she cracked under the pressure once more. Not to mention the social pressure. Mrs. Dukshi told me of how her neighbors kept a wide berth from her following a previous case. And that's out of sigh. Anyway, this isn't at all uncommon nowadays. This flaring country isn't known for it even. Of course, this that sounds alarming, Lau. Are you sure you should be spending your time here? I think I'm fine now, honestly. Mmm, nope. D don't you remember earlier? Man, you're too quick to get complacent. What's your last name? Uh, Lanning. Why? Twyla Lanning, what did I just tell you? Don't get complacent. I can't believe you have the nerve to... But I'm not in a state all similar to that lady. Maybe you can just help me every now and then. Especially since you've spread the word and we know I can enchant now. Mm. No. I told you, we need to start addressing these issues before they grow too severe to ignore. A bout of rain is one thing, but what if the winds pick up and a hurricane forms? What if the lightning intensifies? Nobody put me on your case, you know. There actually is no case in the system yet, despite all the news. We're so spread thin, which is ironic, considering how thick some of these guys are. I thought traces were smart, no? In theory, at least. There are so many that chose to be a tracer because they didn't know what else to do. Too many just barely scraped by an academy, and suddenly find themselves in the midst of real cases. Okay, I need to pee. BLB. <laughs> Lau, you're taking too long. Alright, I still really need a poop, but anyway, we've been met with a choice. What were you like in the academy? Oh, that reminds me of Ella. Hmm. That reminds me of Ella. I briefly go over Ella's predicament with Lau. Hmm. Hope isn't necessarily the only thing tied up in that scenario, no? Yeah, but I managed to narrow it down. I kept probing her with questions. That she naturally got to a point where she recognized hope was what she wanted Ella to feel the most. And that's exactly the right way to go about this, I imagine. Digging deeper with the Socratic method. Socratic method. A process of continually posing and answering questions to dig deeper towards the underlying reasons for one's beliefs. Mm -hmm. Socratic method? It's when you keep digging by asking questions repeatedly until you hit gold. Which is... Reasoning, of course. Socrates. Socrates? Or is it Socrates? <laughs> Socrates used this technique to move beyond people's deeply rooted beliefs. Mm. You'd be surprised how many beliefs the average person holds that turn out to be little other than presupp... presupp... presuppos... presupp... presupp... presuppositions or prejudice. Pre Pre prejudices. Jesus fuck, I can't read those words. <laughs> and not all based in reason. Interesting. I'm not sure I was thinking that deeply with Jazz. I was just asking her questions to understand her better, really. That's still sounding like the Socratic method to me. It's a lot simpler than perhaps I made it sound. Either way, it's remarkable how well you've handled this enchanting process. The whole idea is mostly a shot in the dark from me. What? You're telling me you just threw me into the deep end without even knowing any of this would work? Yeah. As I said this morning, I had a feeling. And now I have another strong feeling about the soul. A feeling that you were born for this kind of work, Twyla. I'm telling you. He keeps doing this and he keeps throwing me off. Kind words, cold eyes. I think you may be right, Lau. I think I might just be... Good. 
So you have another chance to prove that to yourself. But I've got to get going now. Make sure you prepare for the Zeus and Kalein tale. You know they're a little... different, right? Yes! I have a new look ready to go. I'm just not looking forward to waking up before the middle of the night. Why, well, why are people like this? I meant prepare mentally, but sure. I suppose that may help as well. Good luck, Twyla. I think you may need it. Try not to get scared by these people. I think, you know, preparing clothing and stuff can help you, you know, prepare mentally. You put, you're putting on, you're putting on different shoes to get into the character. <laughs> I need, a, I, need, I need to get every hue of you clothing that I can put on whenever I record. That sounds like fucking fun. Give me overalls. I don't want overalls. I don't want overalls, but I kind of want them just for the... You know, for the connection. <laughs> that's, that's not worth it. I don't know how much they cost. Whatever it is, it's not worth it. You wouldn't believe the amount of outbursts caused by Zayasin creeping out innocence soft as annoyance. That's funny. Why would I be scared? Don't worry, Lau. And good luck to you. Wherever it is you're headed. I'm fucking so excited for the Zayasins. It's gotta be so great. There's only a couple of hours until I have to rest up for the night shift. So put up the clothes sign and spend the next couple of hours fixing things up around the store. Aww. And I was right. I can't afford to get complacent. I should try to get my life in order as much as I can whilst I'm feeling well. The storefront needed some well overdue cleaning. Dust had piled up alongside my growing negligence over the past few weeks. Uncle had stopped bringing in stock after I shut down, but I still hadn't gotten to organizing the stock from before all of this mess. And then there was my room. I finally decided I've had enough of navigating the cluttered floor like a rat in a maze and start putting things back in their proper place. Mostly. Great! Everything is nice and clean. Time to get some well-deserved rest. Hit me with a saving icon, please! And I'm already awake. Four hours. There better be hordes of Zayas and banging at my door for this to be worth it. Please hit me with a save! <laughs> Actually, there's no way I could handle that on my lonesome. If I see somebody pop up on this fucking screen before it saves... One customer or a hundred. I have to get ready either way. Time for a makeover. Oh. 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 Oh my. Here's the save. <laughs> Little girl. Alrighty. So. <laughs> welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the next episode. <laughs> I. Oh God. It's so difficult. I. You know. You get into the mode. I get into the mode where I want to just keep going and keep going until the. Until the show is over. But. I'm gonna end things here. Before the recording goes on for too long and everything corrupts because it's almost been two hours. Fuck me. Um, and thank you for watching. I, I hope you don't mind the change of pace that this episode kind of happened. And then the fucking 10 minutes. God. Oh, God. I have, I'm hoping. See, the hope that I have right now is filled with a large amount of fear. I am hoping that not too much that I cared about got cut off. But it probably did, because 10 minutes is a lot of time. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you'll stick around. And uh, good move tonight. I'll catch you later.